Now, following on from that winning penalty, Sol Bramble was captured looking in shock and tweeting, um, I'm getting too old for this. Not at all. <laughs> a very, very good morning to Mr. Sol Bamba. Hello. Good morning, Sol. How are you? Good morning, morning guys. Love. I'm all good. Thank you very much. Oh, Brilliant. What, what an amazing moment. Um, let's just relive it because for the club, for you individually, for your teammates around you, knocking out Manchester United in the FA Cup and doing it in such a dramatic fashion, um, it must have just put such a boost for you guys. Yeah, absolutely. It was a brilliant night for us. And, uh, you know, like you said, knocking out Man United, one of the favourite of the competition, it was massive for us and it gave us a big, a big boost as well for the league. But we had a very, very good night, very good weekend. We enjoyed it, that's for sure. But now we're back to business. You know, we, we're down in London, we're playing tonight. I'm going to go train in half an hour. So, you know, all dies behind us and we have to focus about, about the, the game tonight. Well, you touched on it, so, I mean... Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Championship. I always say it on this programme, it's one of my favourite leagues. I just think it's so competitive. It's a challenge every every Saturday, Tuesday. It's incredible. And you boys have got a big, big game tonight, as you touched on, um, against a team who will be a tough, tough opposition, QPR. Yeah, absolutely. Is it doing well? You know, uh, the fourth in the league. Um, it's going to be an interesting game. And, uh, you know, we have to be ready for it. You know, like you said, it's Saturday, Tuesday, it's, it's relentless. Uh, but I think the, the game over the over on Friday night will give, give us a massive confidence. We can we can be success, successful in this league, you know, beating Man United with uh, with the, the squad they, they, they put together. It was, it was a tough ask. So that gives us a lot of confidence, like I said, going to that game tonight. Just pick Saul up there. You're training in half an hour and you've got a game tonight and you're 37, Saul. Are you going to explain a bit more there? <laughs> I thought you'd be going for a jacuzzi or something. Oh, yeah. You, sh- you should be getting fanned down and massaged this morning. I know. I, honestly, I know. I'll show you absolutely why. And that's why I said I'm too old for this, you know. Uh, no, as long as I enjoy it, I will carry on. You know, of course, at some point I'm going to have to stop. But I've got to say the club's been looking after me. Um, and as soon as I can, I, I will stop and I look after myself as well. But I just enjoy it. As long as I enjoy it, I'm going to do it. I, I remember... Uh, hey, Nali McCoy is saying about like, do it as long as you can. And that's the best advice I can get, you know. Yeah. Uh, my my ex teammate always tell me this as well, saying like, as long as you can and you feel healthy, just doing it because when you stop, it's, it's done, it's done. So I'm just going to do it as long as I can. And so you should, mate. There's absolutely no way back. You play as long as you can. I want to ask you, if I may, about um, relatively, new, certainly new manager to Middlesbrough, Chris Wilder. He's certainly making an impact now, isn't he, So. Yeah, massively. You know, what, what is good for us is uh, we feel like it's one of us, you know. Uh, it, it gives us a lot of banters in the dressing room. Uh, he's, 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 he's honest, and that's what you can ask as a player, honestly. You know, he came in, he had the shape, he had the way of play. Um, the lads bought into it. And uh, obviously, ultimately, you judge you judge by result, and the result's been very, very good. So, you know, all the club, all the fans buy into it, and uh, hopefully it will continue. But... He's a very, very good manager. We see from outside, uh, all of us, when he had successful at Sheffield United. And uh, I understand why, because, you know, when he came in with his backroom staff, you know, the, the attention to details is very, very good. And uh, that's why we, we, we got good results so far. I imagine so. One touch, one goal against United. Are you going to be asking to start up front tonight? <laughs> Not a chance. No, we got, we, got, we got very, very good strikers. So, you know, uh, I, I'm just going to, play at the back and uh, and play when I'm needed. But, you know, it's, a, it's, it's an important game tonight. We, we the, the gaffer has been very, very honest about this. And we all know, you know, like I said, we enjoyed the weekend. But now we're down to business. So it's an important game. Hopefully we're going to win tonight and move forward. So all I have to say to you, quite a f- funny story. I was actually doing the commentary on one of your old teams at the weekend, Liverpool-Cardiff. And you came up in the conversation... Um, and, and, and I mentioned that in, in, in commentary the first time I saw you um, was with Hibs at Easter Road and as soon as I said it right, my phone completely lit up with all these Dunfermline supporters <laughs> that I'd forget. so on behalf of everybody in Scotland I want to pass on my best wishes to you from Hibs and Dunfermline supporters yeah. mate <laughs> yeah that's much better Ali that's much better because I first got to Scotland and I played for them and they were they were wonderful you know I've got to say Ali you go fantastic country you know I love Scotland I go up there when I can the people are very very nice and uh, that's where I start my my professional career really because when I was at Paris I didn't really play for the first team so you know for wonderful wonderful people both very very good clubs and they looked after me and without them too I wouldn't be where I am tonight so you know definitely a big uh, a big uh, thank you to both of this club 
Just on the on the back to the championships, all you're three points out of the playoffs. I mean, I'm probably listeners will think I'm only probably one player, one of the one players to play for Middlesbrough, Sunderland, and Newcastle. So I know the area is a real hotbed of football, and and I think it would be amazing if if all three clubs actually would be back in the Premier League because it was it was some good memories for that. But within the camp, how do, how do you think your chances are of getting into the playoffs and and obviously going up to the to the Premier League? Yes, it, we we're very confident to be fair, Shay, because you know we we. We're a group. We want to be successful. You know, we we know we're a good group, but we have to we have to show on the weekend and perform and winning football matches. You know, and like you said, I think I have to touch on on the area. You know, the Sunderland, the Middlesbrough, and uh, those the, the North East is is they, they love their football. You know, and it'd be wonderful if uh, if we can do it and the other clubs as well can play uh, at the highest level as they can because though, though this area breathe for football. So, you know, listen. Every club one will say like as a big club and deserve to play in the Premier League, but you have to earn the right, and uh, that's what we're trying to do at the minute. And hopefully that will uh, will continue and be have a successful season. So I have to say as well, um, you've come through a lot recently. Um, really, really tough time with your health and back playing football at the age that you are um, is just absolutely incredible. And to still have this motivation, you just must have the most positive mindset. Yeah, I'm trying to. Laura. I'm not going to lie. You know, it's been uh, it's been tough at time. You know, and I think it's important to to say it because I think people see me and it's, it's, it's true. I always smile and I'm positive mm-hmm. and that. But it, it was a very very difficult moment. You know, with the family, the kids. You know, it wasn't easy. But you know, like you said, I'm I'm always looking forward. I'm looking the positive side of it. And uh, you know, when when it's a tough moment, I always I'm a believer. The, the good moment will come after that. So if you can be strong and have a good help when 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 you have a tough moment. Um, the, the sun will rise again. That's that's how I see it. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.